Farmington Hills, Michigan. How much does it cost to purchase a home and how much does it cost to live in the city of Farmington Hills? In this video, we're going to go over everything that you need to know about the cost of living in the city of Farmington Hills. So let's jump right in. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Nick. I'm a top producing real estate agent here in Metro Detroit, Michigan, and I've helped hundreds of families and individuals both buy and sell real estate all over Metro Detroit. So if you're interested in that, whether it's one month, one year from now, make sure to get a hold of me. My contact information is below in the description. Call, text, set up a Zoom, however you'd like to communicate. And in the meantime, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button. That way you're notified of all of the new and upcoming information throughout Metro Detroit, Michigan. So without further ado, let's jump in. All right, so as I mentioned, we are going to go over the cost of living in Farmington Hills. Now this video is going to give you all of the information that you need to know, not only about the housing market, but also about utilities, transportation, groceries, miscellaneous costs, so that you know exactly what to expect if you're looking to move and buy a home in Farmington Hills. The most important thing to know is that the average cost of living in Farmington Hills has been ranked 25% higher than the national average. We will first discuss all of the day-to-day -day cost of living items, and then we'll jump deeper into the housing market specifically. But first, we're going to go over everything that you need to know to live on a day-to-day -day basis and how much that is going to cost. And one thing to keep in mind is that all of these numbers are given based on a average monthly cost. Starting off with utilities sitting at $173 per month, and this includes gas gas, electric, water, and garbage. Next is transportation. Because this is a very car dependent city, the average price for transportation on a monthly basis sits around $186 a month. The next item is going to be groceries. Now keep in mind, this can go up or down depending on your lifestyle and spending habits, but the average price of groceries in Farmington Hills is right around $409 a month. Healthcare sits at $443 a month. And a category of miscellaneous expenses or cost of living on a monthly basis for Farmington Hills sits at $274. Now this includes dining out, entertainment, and different things to do or activities around the area. Utilities are slightly higher than the national average and transportation costs are about the same. Groceries and healthcare are slightly lower than the national average. Here are some additional things to keep in mind about those day-to-day -day costs if living or moving to Farmington Hills. The cost of childcare is high at an average of $1,700 per month for a full-time infant. The cost of transportation can also be high because as I mentioned, Farmington Hills is a car dependent city. The cost of entertainment can also be high because of the numerous restaurants, bars, and just outside of Farmington Hills is Farmington, which has a downtown location. All right, so now that we've covered some of the day-to-day -day costs that go into account when looking at the total cost of living, let's jump specifically into the housing market. And first, First, we're going to start off with renting an apartment in Farmington Hills. The average cost to rent a 915 square foot apartment in Farmington Hills sits at $1,634. The cost of housing is the most significant driver in pushing that cost of living up when it comes to buying or living in Farmington Hills. The median sales price of a home in Farmington Hills sits at just over $552,000. And this is 70% higher than the national average. If you were to look at available inventory for houses on the market today in the city of Farmington Hills, there are only 55 homes up for sale. And the price range of these homes has a very big difference with the lowest home listed for sale at $120,000. And on the other end of that, the highest home listed for sale is listed at $1.349 million. Redfin has taken those numbers one step further and they've broken down the cost of living on a single family home as well as a condo or townhome and then a multifamily property within the city of Farmington Hills. The average sales price of a single family home is right around $350,000 while condos are closer to $290,000. And if you're interested in purchasing a multifamily home, whether as an investment property or a house hack where you're live in one unit and you'll have a tenant rent out the others, the average price of a multifamily home is just under $800,000. The housing market in Farmington Hills is currently very, very competitive. And I know this because not only have I lived and purchased a home, but I've also sold a home in Farmington Hills, my own residence outside of clients that I have buying and selling in the city itself. Homes are typically going under contract and selling within just a week and closing within just weeks of going on the MLS or on the market for sale. So you have to bring a very competitive offer with a very aggressive pricing and different terms to allow you to purchase the home, whether it's your dream home or the next step whether you're downsizing or upsizing. And if you're interested in that, again, whether it's one month or one year from now, make sure to get in contact with me. I can help you out there. So let's jump in the car and go take a look at some of the homes available in some of the neighborhoods throughout Farmington Hills. <music>
So as you can see, Farmington Hills is a great place to live, but one thing to keep in mind is the cost of living, which can be a bit higher depending on your lifestyle. So if you're looking to purchase a home in this area, make sure to look at all of your monthly expenses, not just your housing expense to purchase a home and what that mortgage is going to be, but also the lifestyle expenses that you're going to have. And if you're interested in Farmington Hills or any of the other cities throughout Metro Detroit, Michigan, make sure to check out the rest of my channel where I dive deep covering the cost of living, what it's like to live in, the pros and cons, and you can get much more information by checking out those videos on my channel. And until then, I'll see you soon.